most important for us as well as we need to cover this type of subject first and if you see the weightage of each and every subject like 5 to 6 5 to 6 if you are not able to do much practice on these type of subjects still you are able to solve the questions in the gate examination and as well as if you want to cover the injury mechanics in uh, your there is no problem there is no requirement of concept any other concept hello dear student welcome to gatewala english youtube channel so our today's session is basically based upon like the best track to cover the civil engineering syllabus for the gate examination so in this particular session guys i will tell you about the syllabus part what are the various subjects we have then we will discuss how much time required for each and every subject to cover it as well as we will discuss what is the weightage of each and every subject in our exam right so these are the main points which we need to understand in this particular session guys as well as i will tell you one more point whether the standard books are required for uh, every subject or not that we will discuss also that means these are the points which is written over here you can see here guys like subject wise weightage time required to complete the uh, complete the subject then we have the sources okay so let's start with the first point which is basically the subject wise weightage so what i have done over here guys i have divided this particular thing in three category one is basically the high scoring subject whose weightage is usually greater than 7 to 8 marks or 7 or 8 marks right whose weightage is uh, eight, uh, greater than 8 marks usually then if we talk about the medium scoring subject then we have low scoring subject category so if we discuss the high scoring subject in high scoring subject we have the soil mechanics environmental engineering you can see a soil mechanics is having a weightage of 12 to 12 uh, 12 to 13 marks then we have environmental engineering whose weightage is 11 to 12 marks if we talk about the fm and ocf which is 7 to 8 marks and this is one of the fundamental subject which is most important for us as well as we need to cover this type of subject first in our preparation journey that we will discuss also then we have mathematics guys whose weightage is 15 marks no doubt you know that uh, differentiation integration right and the uh, engineering mathematics is uh, important in our uh, further subjects also like if you use the concept of mathematics in the strength of material toss rcc in various subjects we are using these particular concepts right so that's why it is also important and you need to cover this particular subject in the early part of your preparation journey so that you can use the concepts in the further subjects okay then we have aptitude whose weightage is 13 marks then we have transportation whose weightage is 7 to 9 marks so if you add the weightage of these subjects what you will find it is approximately 65 plus marks right that means almost 65 percent of the syllabus is this of your gate gate exam for the civil engineering now if we talk about the medium scoring subject in medium scoring subject category we have theory of structure surveying strength of material rcc and if you see the weightage of each and every subject like 5 to 6 5 to 6 4 to 5 and 4 to 5 if you take the summation what you will find it is 20 marks approximate so 20 marks is the weightage of medium scoring subject then we have low scoring subject so if we talk about low scoring subject in which we have hydrology steel structure irrigation engineering mechanics cpm and building material so the weightage of hydrology is 2 to 3 marks and the rest of the subject is having a weightage of 1 to 2 marks only so if you take the summation of it what you will find it is 10 to 12 marks is there for these subjects so what is my suggestion guys if you are covering the high scoring subject in the early part of your preparation journey what you will find guys you are able to complete the syllabus of the major subjects as well as you will get the sufficient time to cover it second point you are able to revise it also you are able to practice the pyqs dpp and practice sheets because you will get sufficient time to do it right so that's why guys it is my suggestion to cover the high scoring subjects in the early part of your preparation journey right now if we talk about the medium scoring subject you can cover it after covering the high scoring subjects usually right but if we talk about the low scoring subject part guys try to cover these type of subjects in the last duration of your preparation journey why because their weightage is less 
as well as the time required to cover these type of subject is also less and usually uh, these type of subjects you can cover from the notes itself it is not required to have a textbooks also just try to understand the important concept important points important chapters you can cover the subject easily right if you are not able to do much practice on these type of subjects still you are able to solve the questions in the gate examination right but it is my suggestion guys try to understand this thing low scoring subjects try to cover it in the later part of your journey so that if you get uh, lesser time to revise it there is no problem right because these type of subjects are very short as well as if you are able to recall or if you are able to remember the important concepts of these subjects that is more than enough right that's why try to cover it in the later part of your preparation journey now the question is sir can we go directly with the high scoring subject can we directly uh, try to learn the soil mechanics environmental engineering so you can do it if your basic or fundamental is very strong right if your base is very strong like uh, if you know the engineering mathematics very well if you know some of the basic concept of strength of material if you know the fundamental of forces and movements and etc then you can go with the any subject of the high weightage but if you want to cover the syllabus from the fundamental or basic subject first so what should uh, what i will recommend you guys try to cover first the engineering mathematics whose weightage is very high and this is one of the fundamental subjects whose concepts is required in each and every subjects of the engineering you know that almost right so try to cover the mathematics part first right then go with the fm also because this is another fundamental subject in our high scoring category try to cover fm and ocf right it is also means mainly fm ocf is, ocf is a one of the portion of uh, our fluid mechanics right so try to cover the fm part first right so these are the two fundamental subjects in the high scoring category and try to cover it in the early part of your preparation journey then we have strength of material try to cover this and as well as if you want to cover the engineering mechanics in uh, your early duration you can do it if you want to ignore it there is no problem but this is also one of the fundamental subjects which we have so basically there are three you can see here mainly four subjects are there which are fundamental subjects in high scoring category we have fm and maths then we have strength of material in medium scoring category then we have engineering mechanics in the low scoring category right so try to cover these subject in the early part of your preparation journey right so first focus on the mathematics first focus on maths then you can cover the fm part as well as the strength of material and you can also cover the engineering mechanics also right if you want to cover engineering mechanics before the fm and so that is much better right but if you know the concept of force and movements and etc easily so you can go directly with the fm and uh, so okay right so try to cover the fundamental subject first then go with the high scoring subject category then enter into the high scoring subject category and try to cover the soil mechanics environmental engineering transportation and you can enjoy the aptitude part also that aptitude is individual subject there is no problem there is no requirement of concept any other concepts you can so just it is based upon the logical and reasoning things right so you can cover it at any time right but try to cover the base first make your base as a strong these are nothing as basically the basic subjects so cover the basic subjects first then go with the our uh, high scoring subjects whose weightage is very high like soil mechanics environmental engineering transportation and etc okay then after covering the high scoring subject try to prefer the medium scoring subject in which you can see here guys like we have theory of structure rcc surveying in which we will use the concept of fm sometime engineering mechanics also as well as maths also right then we have low scoring subject category which you can cover in the later part of your preparation journey so this is nothing as this is our subject wise weightage and this is my one of the suggestion guys which you can use uh during your preparation journey okay 
now let us understand how much time exactly required for each and every subject and what is the total time to cover the entire syllabus of civil engineering so guys if we talk about the high scoring subject if we talk about the high scoring subject so if you can see here guys the soil mechanics is required like 120 hours 100 hours 105 95 150 you can see here guys these are the basically duration if you take the summation of it what you will observe time required to cover the high scoring subject is 570 r almost 600 hours is required to cover all these subjects or you can say that the major syllabus or major uh, part of our syllabus which is approximately 600 hours and if we consider on a average uh, and an average uh, like 6 hour you are giving in a single day so almost 100 days are required to approximately 100 days is required to cover this particular 60 percent part of our syllabus right okay now guys if we talk about the medium scoring subject if we talk about the medium scoring subject if we talk about the medium scoring subject so in medium scoring subject category we have theory of structure like 80 hours surveying 60 tome 80 and rcc 70 so it is approximately 290 r which is required to cover this particular medium scoring subject so you can see here it is approximately like uh, 300 hours and if it is 300 hours so if we consider 6 hours per day so again it will be like 50 days 50 days only is required to cover this particular syllabus right now guys let's understand or let's discuss the low scoring subject part let's understand the low scoring subject part so in low scoring subject we can have uh, the hydrology part which is basically the 60 hour duration is required then we have steel structure 70 hour irrigation 35 then we have engineering mechanics 25 then we have cpm 25 then we have uh, building material which is 25 right which is 25 now guys if you take the submission of it what you will observe it is approximately 240 r so if you add all the duration what you will observe guys if you add all the duration what value exactly we are getting let me add it 240 then we have 290 then we have 570 so it is 1100 hours that means you need 1100 hours to complete the syllabus right that means we need 1100 hours to complete the syllabus of civil engineering but this particular duration is required by your faculty i will tell you one thing this particular duration is required by your faculty to complete the syllabus right but at the same time a student is uh, required to write down the notes also that means you need some time to write it down so what i will consider guys like 25 percent time is uh, additional time which is required by a student to write down the notes so let us consider if we have 1100 hours multiplied by 1.25 so in this particular duration we are able to watch all the videos or cover the syllabus as well as we will write down the notes so 1100 multiplied by 1.25 that means 1375 so what i will consider guys it is a round off which is 1400 hours so in which you are able to cover the syllabus you are able to make your notes also let us suppose it is 1400 hours which is required to cover the syllabus as well as write down the notes now let us understand how much time we have right now so guys i think today let me check it out just hold on okay huh. you know that guys today is 16 april right and uh, let us suppose i want to cover the syllabus till 31st march right T oh, sorry till 31st december not march 31st december i want to cover my entire syllabus till 31st only because uh, in january i will try to give the test series and uh, uh, i will judge myself whether i am scoring well or not and whatever mistakes i have i am trying to do at that particular time i will try to resolve it as well as i will get that particular time duration for revision and you know that in the february you have the exam 
So let us suppose I want to cover my syllabus till 31st of December. Okay. So now how many days we have exactly? Let us calculate it. Okay. How many days you have? So let me use the date calculator and it is coming around 259 days. 259 days we have. That means this is the time duration which we have till 31st of December to cover this particular duration or syllabus. Now let us suppose if I am giving 6 hour a day, right? Let us suppose if I am giving 6 hour a day, then how much duration is required? Let's see. So let us suppose uh, I am studying 6 hour per day. So how many days are required? Let us understand that. 1400 divided by 6. How many days are required? It is coming 233 or 233 days approximately right and right now we have uh, 259 so what we will consider guys let us suppose this is 230 days 230 days right and how many days we have 260 approximately so can i say that 30 days is extra 30 days is extra this is the extra duration which you have after covering the syllabus let means that means if you are giving 6 hours per day, then you can cover this particular syllabus within 230 days only. Right? 230 days you are able to cover it easily. And this 30 days is extra duration. Right? Which we can use or let us suppose someday you, it may be possible you are not able to cover uh, the lectures. It may be possible your mid is there. It may be possible you have a long gap. Right? It may be possible, right? Because this is a long preparation journey, right? Or long duration journey, right? So that may be possible. We need to make some factor of safety also. So in this particular case, guys, we have 30 days, which is extra duration. And you can use it if you find any uh, mid sam or if you find any difficulty uh, like watching the video, if you have accumulation of lectures, you can use this particular day to overcome with it, right? So that's why, guys, you can see here, it is very easy to cover the entire syllabus till 31st of December, right? While making our personal notes or class notes as well as covering the each and every lecture, right? So this is my suggestion guys, which you have to, which you can implement in your preparation journey and use it. And let me tell you one more thing guys, most of the student is having a like this particular type of doubt, sir, which uh, whether I need to use the books or not or uh, like uh, should I refer the book completely or not. So what I suggest you guys, each and every faculty will suggest you for their subject whether you have to uh, refer the uh, textbook or not. That is one of the suggestion which is given by usually each and every faculty who is expert in that particular subject. But in general what I will suggest you guys if you want to practice more number of questions, if you want to understand more concepts so try to refer the textbooks for high scoring subjects and medium scoring subjects only. And in medium scoring subjects also, you can have only in few subjects you can uh, refer it, right? Otherwise, try to ignore the textbook or standard textbooks for the low scoring subject for the gate examination, right? So this is my suggestion, guys, for your uh, to cover the entire syllabus of civil engineering. And you can see here, guys, we have done a simple calculation also so that you can understand how much duration you have. This 30 day, you have extra up to 31st December. You can see here, this is the total duration. Only 230 days is required to cover the syllabus. That 30 days is extra. And after that, 30 day is another duration which we have. Like in January, we have completely free from the syllabus part. Just we have to cover these test series and practice the question as well as we have to revise the subject. Right? So that's it guys. Just you have to do this to get a good rank in your gate examination. Okay. So I hope you are able to understand each and everything which we have discussed today. So guys, that's it from my side. I hope you have understood. Try to implement this and uh, cover your syllabus. Bye-bye guys. Take care and thank you so much.